to get into the ugly. You got to say, hey, you know what? This is kind of ugly. And for someone who's experiencing that, they may go, wow, this is ugly. You know, and, you know, you got to kind of put it out there. And hopefully if they're at a point where they want to transcend where they are and experience a healthier, you know, self-esteem, healthier, you know, whatever standard of living, you got to kind of meet people where they are. And you are already at that point where you're just like, okay, let's build. But some of us don't have anything to build on. Some of us are so empty and so lost that we've got to have someone say, wow, you're hurting, huh? This is, you know, this sucks, huh? And, you know, so I think it just needs to be a multi-faceted you know, approach. But you know, how, you've got to. Yes, what I'm about, so sorry. But what about in regards to, like, okay, this person is suffering. This person has not seen the, the rosy picture or whatever. How about showing them the rosy picture? I mean, you don't have to. I, I don't necessarily think that you got to necessarily keep talking about the bad more or less than showing them the good and from just showing them and presenting, a, you know, an alternative to what they're going through, the light right, will start right. going off. The light will come on. So that's what I'm saying. By talking about the, by, by talking about the bad so much, I think we're just reinforcing it. I mean, how many songs have you heard with people, like, praising, like, a, a certain part of culture, you know, a negative part of culture, and people just adapt to that because they just keep hearing it and hearing it. Once you give somebody an alternative, that, that's basically what you're giving me. You're giving them an alternative. And it's like, hey, wait a minute, why am I doing this when I have this? Right okay, now we continue to talk okay, about... Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I before, before y'all all jump in on the brother, before y'all jump in on the brother, I got your back on this here, brother, because I see, you know... I am sorry. You know what I I got your back. I got you on this. You got him, and you don't even know what he's saying. And let me just say this right now. I love all of you. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay, ladies, ladies, ladies. We be we being black girls now. We got to calm down. Really, oh, look, am I being black? Am I being aggressive? Oh, and, and throw up the quotes. The quotes. <laughs> what I wanted to say is um, just to kind of touch on, you know, um, one of the things that I've become I'm realizing more and more each day is that it's um, there's. You know, Danella t- has touched on it just a few seconds ago. There is definitely a multifaceted approach that needs to happen. You know, and, and what we all have to realize is that we all have to get in where we fit in. You know, there's a quote in the scripture that says, to whom much is given, much is required. So for those of us who ha- who understand and know, we have to we have to figure out where our place is in this, and then start to actualize and be the leaders, as Gandhi said, be the leaders of the change that we want to see. Right. So for and those you know of us who can take that, for those of us who can take that approach, like what brother is saying, uh, Elijah Muhammad, I think, said it best. He said, sometimes all you have to do is put the clean glass next to the dirty glass, and people will choose the clean glass themselves. You know, but it's again, you have to have a multifaceted approach to it because you have people in a lot of different places and a lot of different experiences. So you want to be able to have something for everyone to be able to deal with people where they are. You know, okay, so. and we've got another caller, so I want, and we are running out of time, but I want to have other caller weigh in. And also, sorry, just want to add that little few cents. I just want to say this briefly. You know what? There's a lot of people out here where when you present the alternative, you know what they say? Oh, that's for white people. Oh, that's for those people. Uh-huh. That's for me. So you you know you, him, it's got to be him. multifaceted. You, you um, let him be. We've got another caller. Hi, welcome to the Spirit Talk Radio. You're on the air. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey. Thank you. Well, I'm just going to say I, I was very pleased to uh, to hear that you're speaking on this topic. It's actually something that I started a. Uh, uh, I started counseling a couple of young ladies, actually two young black ladies that are in some of the situations that we're talking about now. Uh, now, these are my first clients as I'm still interning. So I still oh, have. Congratulations. Uh, a, yeah. Thank you. 
But I, but I do have another counselor that uh, that weighs in on uh, some of the things that I, that I do with these young ladies. And something that uh, that I'm looking at, there are all similarities between the two young ladies, although they did have different backgrounds. Um, one grew up, uh, she was uh, abused, sexually abused by an uncle uh, in her home. And the other uh, young lady, uh, she grew up, uh, she didn't have the same type of background at home. But uh, she grew up in a, in a, in a, in a her, her household was, it was impoverished. Neither of these young ladies had a male role model or a positive male, male role model in their life. And, okay. And, uh, and just looking at the, uh, at the at the similarities as to where they are now, uh, something that I was looking at was some of the theories that. Uh, some of the counseling theories that had come up, uh, Sandra Wilson, Dr. Wilson had, had come up with in her book, Hurt People, Hurt People. And, okay, uh, I've heard that, yeah. Mm. And, and, uh, and it was just amazing how these young ladies, they exhibit that game. Absolutely. They, they flow themselves out. They don't want any relationship. They just want to be uh, alone, alone. Uh, uh, they, they don't want to. They don't want any. They don't want to bond with anyone. It's to the point with one young lady that she doesn't even bond with her own sisters now. And one of the things that I'm working with her on is being able to allow people and working on some of the things that the young man that wanted to have some. He, he, want, he wants answers. He doesn't want to hear the same problems. He wants answers. Uh, so one of the things I'm working on is. Is a new theory, and it's something where we, what I call coming out of the woods. And I'm trying to write this theory out. And what I want to change, what I want to change these young ladies' lives, is all the things that they would do if they had the opportunity. If things were different in their lives, you know, let's work from that point of view. Okay. It's always going to be difficult to overcome any type of abuse or any type of uh, situation that, or any type of negative situation, but especially with young ladies, because look at what they have to, what look at what they're trying to live up uh, to at this point. Uh, you know, if they have to look further back, look at look at our look at how our ancestors, our grandmothers. You know, they were strong in the household, and we and we have that that saying. You know, a strong black woman. Look at what they're trying to live up to. You know, uh, at some at some point they have. have I would the like to know what work, happened. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would like to know what has happened to that generation of uh, strong black women. Because I know my grandmother, she has all kinds of now. Okay. Well, you know, um, I'm so sorry for running out of time. First of all, for the callers that called in, thank you. Thank you very much for your insight um, and your love. Um, please uh, join our Facebook page and continue to put your opinions on the Facebook page. We love you. We want to hear from you. You're awesome. Um, let's continue the discussion. Um, let's get to that strong black woman. Let's get to all of the points that everyone brought up because we can talk to you on days. This is amazing. Um, just want to say briefly, we've got two minutes to we can have. I'm going to disconnect the callers. I thank you so much for your time. We love you, and Thank you. Thank you. And... For um, Atlas, let's just do a brief 30 second recap, really, of, of your point, and we're going to move on. Okay, uh, let's just do it now. Yes. Your point, you, last 30 seconds. Okay, well, my point is definitely healing, and I think this is just conversation. That's my point. Okay, healing, loving it. Loving it. Brother Mike. Brother Mike. Uh, my point, uh, my point uh, again, is again, for us to, uh, again, continue to have that type of discussion for saying to build off of these and find others who are working with this and connect our work. Because a lot of times, um, that's what's missing. We're not connecting our efforts so it doesn't have the maximum effect. Okay. And do you want uh, Like the Facebook page, and let's continue this conversation on the Facebook page and be a mentor to somebody. I, I thought that was very helpful in my own personal life, and I hope to be a mentor for somebody else one day. 
Okay, awesome. Well, I think that's the whole point, you know, um, Spirit Talk uh, radio panelists said it best. Um, everyone, have a great day wherever you are in the world. Thank you again to our callers who participated. And let's check out our Facebook page and, uh, you know, make your voice heard. Everyone, have a great day. Love, love.